Company. Today, General Motors announced it is closing down five North American plants. That includes the one near Youngstown. More than 14,000 workers across all five will be out of jobs. The company's CEO calls it part of GM's restructuring. The car maker plans to move toward self-driving and electric cars. The Lordstown, Ohio plant makes the Chevy Cruze. GM is discontinuing the Cruze in March and nothing will come in its place at that plant. The local union president says they plan to fight back. We need to convince General Motors to grow jobs here in the Mahoning Valley, protect manufacturing jobs in Ohio, and to make sure that American cars are made here in America. And I think Lordstown is the best place to do that. So here's how Ohio lawmakers are reacting to the news. Democratic Senator Sherrod Brown said this decision is corporate greed at its worst. And Republican Senator Rob Portman says, I'm deeply frustrated with General Motors' decision to shut down its Lordstown plant and disappointed with how the hardworking employees there have been treated throughout this process. Now, sales are slumping for the American car maker. Business Journal Daily reports the Chevy sedan sales are down nearly 33% this year, and that includes the Cruze, the Malibu Impala, and the Chevy Volt. And by the way, the company plans to discontinue the Volt as well. GM could save $6 billion dollars through these cuts. Some of the tri-state know what it's like to go through a GM plant closure. Two factories closed in the 80s, one in Hamilton, one in Norwood. Nine Under Side's Jake Ryle shares their advice for the workers in Lordstown. The Camaros rolled off the assembly line. So too did the news from General Motors in 1986. What do you see for the future now? Not much. Just new places, new people. The headline then, a limit for thousands of tri-state workers. Mike Simovisky remembers that day. I think for Hamilton, it was going to be a major hit because a lot of the people who lived in Hamilton worked at Fisher Body. He was the public works director for the city of Hamilton back then. What do you do to start replacing that? How do you position yourself for the future to I guess to somehow can you reinvent your community? Lots of questions. Absolutely, and uh, no answers. The Hamilton Fairfield plant was a GM stamping facility, 2,000 people employed for years and then laid off. The reality, these businesses provide quite a bit to the tax base. City officials contemplate similar measures. If the 2,000 worker stamping plant closes, taking a quarter of the city's tax base with it. Fairfield and Hamilton weren't alone. Norwood, too, lost more than 4,000 jobs and a third of its tax base. Simovisky has some advice for those in Lordstown after the announcement Monday. Don't panic. Realize that there is life after those plants close. You have to really look inwardly, gather the community leadership together, 